Welcome to another edition of the Insider Hoop Scoop. I'm Jared Johnson. I'm joined by the mighty Joe Yeager. My Joe, man, beautiful weather out here on Texas Tech campus. You're rocking the, the Hawaiian shirt. You're ready. I, man, you're ready for the, the margarita. You're ready for the beach. I can see it. You know, this shirt is kind of a special shirt because, you know, any of you guys out there that are James Bond fans. There you go. All right. Uh, there was a movie, a James Bond movie called Thunderball oh, yeah. back in 1965, an old one. All right. Uh, and James Bond's uh, ally, Felix Leiter, his American yeah. opposite, CIA, you know about, yeah. right, right. James uh, Felix, Felix Leiter, CIA, uh, was wearing a shirt in that movie that looked a heck of a lot like this. And I loved that shirt. I looked all over trying to find it, pretty much gave up on it, and then just happened to walk into this thing. So wow. this is it's my Thunderball shirt here. Well, where'd you get it? So curious. Oh, eBay. Yep. eBay. Wow, there you go. Yep. So even Mighty Joe gets online and finds things in shops, you know? Uh, but, all right, basketball, man. You know, look, I, if there is a downtime of the year, I guess this is it. But then again, a lot of new phases are on campus, uh, getting used to each other. They're building that chemistry. And we've been kind of breaking down the roster. We talked about the returning players on the last video. This video, let's talk about the, the transfers they added. Uh, some grad transfers and then just the garden variety regular transfer, which seems like uh, anything that that is uh, kind of like the old garden variety doesn't apply anymore. You know what I mean? Like it's rare, like a normal high school recruit coming in or just a, a straight transfer. It seems like there's always a waiver involved, yeah. which we'll get to, or it's a graduate transfer. But Joe, overall, what do you think of the group? Uh, great. They're, they're going to be uh, something like, well, they're, they're going to be critical. Right. They're, they're, they're not peripheral players. Uh, these are guys that are going to come in, uh, start, if they're not starting, they're going to be rotation. Uh, it, but yeah, they're going to be absolutely essential to any success Tech has next year. Uh, and uh, I think they're going to be really, really good. Let's break them down real quick one at a time. Let's start with TJ Holyfield, grad transfer, 6'8", about 225, 230. So, you know, big dude. I, like you said, I expect him to start. Transfer out of Stephen F. Austin. Uh, big time player, my Joe, and a big part uh, of the puzzle. Yeah, he's, uh, he's going to be really good. I mean, I think he's probably underrated. Uh, I think a lot of people around the country, uh, I saw where he was rated something like the number 25, number 30 transfer, or something like that, which I think is silly. Yeah. Uh, I think he may be potentially top 12, something like that. Uh, really good player. Uh, he's, he brings two really important things. Uh, he blocks shots, which is what you need with uh, Owens, and Odiase no longer uh, holding the fort down uh, around the rim. Uh, so he can do some of that for you. And a tremendous, tremendous shooter. Uh, 6'8 guy who steps out and can flat out knock it down. Uh, very uh, intelligent player, savvy player. Knows how to play the game of basketball. I think uh, of all the grad transfers, uh, he could be the guy that picks things up the quickest. Uh, and uh, he's going to be on the court from, from the opening tap uh, and uh, making an impact very early on. Yeah, another grad transfer I expect to play a lot, probably start. Maybe, I mean, I expect him to be one of the better players on the team is Chris Clark, 6'6 six, six forward from Virginia Tech. Does a little bit of everything for you. Uh, man, he committed just days after TJ Holyfield did. Uh, you know, that's basically, in my opinion, it's going to be your starting front court. You know, you're starting two, two big, like, kind of bigs. And I think Clark can, can do a lot of things. I think he can guard <clears throat> anywhere from the positions one through four. Uh, everything but like, you know, the big centers, the big like 6'10 guys. Jack right, exactly. I feel like, like he can do, but what does he bring on the offense end, Joe? Man, he's just, uh, the thing that stands out is just, he's a ball of fire. Yeah. Uh, he is so aggressive. Yeah. I mean, he's always looking to attack. I mean, on, on both ends of the court. He's, yeah. he's that way on defense, oh, but I yeah. mean, if you, uh, on offense too, He's, he's relentless, uh, and he's, he's a perpetual motion machine, you know, and full of energy. And, and that's so great because what type of offense does Texas Tech run? Uh, motion. Motion. <laughs> motion. Yeah. Well, this guy is motion in motion, poetry in motion, basketball in motion. He just puts the motion in the ocean. Uh, he's Mr. <laughs> motion, all right? So he's the motion man. Uh, he's coming to a team that runs motion offense. Sounds like a pretty good fit to me. Yeah. yeah, and also, like you said, defensively, great fit. The fact that he can, you know, guard several positions. All right, and then, like I said, the regular transfer is Joel Ntambwe from UNLV. He had a great freshman season there for the Renner Rebs. Man, six, what, six, eight? He's, he's kind of six, eight, six, nine, face up forward kind of guy. He's really a wing, but as you've said in uh, previous videos, he can play four for you uh, and, and guard multiple positions. So, you know, <clears throat> I haven't ruled out him getting a waiver. 
he has family here in Texas, and he, there was a coaching change. I mean, a lot of people have gotten waivers for a lot less than that. So, you know, I, I, I never like to uh, guess what the NCAA is going to do. I don't know if they formally applied for a waiver, but I can't imagine why they wouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> so don't be surprised if Joel Ntabwe is, able to, is eligible and able to play next year as well. And if he is, then look out. Yeah, he's a really multifaceted scorer on the offensive end. I mean, just you name it. Any way a scorer in the basketball, he's a guy who can do it. I mean, he can. Uh, he's got NBA range to start out with. I mean, he may be. He may have better deep range than Holyfield does. He, I don't know if he's wow. quite as accurate a shooter right. as Holyfield at this point, but uh, he can step out a little bit further, I think, than Holyfield even. Uh, well, Holyfield, real quick, just got, that was a great point. I think Holyfield's more of like the catch and shoot kind of three point shooter. Not not that he can't do it off the dribble, but then Tabway really is the guy kind of who could create for himself more than say a Holyfield. Wouldn't you say, Joe? Yeah, absolutely. He can really put it on the floor. Uh, he, I mean, he's six nine uh, or, or at least six eight, right. uh, and he can get into the paint. I mean, he can. And, and once he gets there, uh, he can pull up. Uh, he can post up a little bit, and after catching the ball, make a spin move and get to the bucket. Like I said, uh, all sorts of ways for him to score. Uh, and he's just going to be so much better. I mean, he put up good numbers at right. UNLV as a freshman, I believe, uh, over 12 points a game yes. and 5.5 rebounds, yes. something like that. Yep. And he was playing out of position. He was having to play the four when he's a natural three. Yep. Uh, he's going to be, uh, play, with all of the depth that Tech has, he's going to play in the optimal spot for him. Uh, here at Texas Tech. So um, I would expect him to, to make a huge leap uh, his sophomore year, whether that's next year or year on down the road. Either way, uh, he's a major talent. Uh, and uh, boy, I mean, the embarrassment of riches for Chris Beard. Absolutely. It's worth mentioning that his little brother, Jonathan Kaminga, is one of the top players in the 2021 class. So uh, that doesn't hurt, especially if uh, Nintomboy has the kind of career that recent transfers have here at Texas Tech, all the success they've, they've enjoyed. So, my Joe, man, these transfers are going to make a huge impact uh, next season. I can't wait to see how, they, how Beard makes all the pieces fit. But great stuff from you as always. Thank you all for watching, and until next time.